Now, good morning, Northwest. A child died in a hot car in Rathdrum on the hottest day of the year. First responders do not think the parents left the child in that car. So what happened? Today is going to be a calmer day, not so much cooler, but we've got another dry set of days ahead of us. We're going to tell you how long the dry spell will last and how hot it's going to get. And wildfire burning in central Washington forces people from their homes. What we know about evacuations and the firefight at this hour. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Derek Dice. It is Tuesday, July the 11th. Let's get to Mark Peterson with a look at that first alert forecast. And some areas are going to see 90 today, aren't they? Yeah, we will be into the mid 80s today. But yeah, all you have to do is go south and to the west. We look at what we have. Here's our forecast for the day. The sunshine. These clouds are slowly moving east and north out of the area. We're sitting at 58 degrees. Nice start to the day. Winds less than 10 miles an hour. Here's a look at the four things you need to know. It is going to be a very average day today. I mean, temperatures in the mid 80s, winds are going to be light, but this will begin another dry run, so we're going to continue not to add to our moisture content. Plenty of sunshine expected for the next several days. We'll talk about how hot that weekend's going to get. The radar, still busy, but it, again, talked about Deer Park getting a few scattered showers. That continues. They're light. This thing is starting to make its way north out of the area. It's just going to take a couple of hours, and then it'll be replaced with sunshine. Temperatures today into the mid 80s all over the place 87 into mead nine mile fairchild you're going to be at 84 degrees we're going to have temperatures in the low to mid 80s into north idaho so everybody's very consistent and looking pretty good our day today uh quite honestly again a few morning clouds by 10 o'clock should be a done deal at 70 look for 80 at two o'clock and again our high today at 85 cooling to 84 by six o'clock Heartbreak in North Idaho. A two-year-old from Rathrum died in a hot car Sunday. Idaho State Police believe the child was playing in the car and ended up getting trapped inside. Fire officials say across the country it is the 11th time a child has died due to being trapped or forgotten in a car already this year. Chris Larson with Northern Lakes Fire Department tells us that car temperatures can rise 20 degrees in just 10 minutes. On a 70-degree day, cars can get up to 115 degrees. Since 1990, there have been more than 1,000 children who have died of heat stroke within cars, whether they're accidentally left inside the car or get into it on their own. 25% of the time, infants and children that uh, succumb to heat stroke from uh, being trapped in a vehicle like that happens from kids when the vehicle is left unlocked. Um, they're playing, uh, parents don't know where they went, they're playing hide and go seek, they go hide, or they get in the vehicle, accidentally locked a door. He says parents should create a reminder to force them to check the back seat, like putting a diaper bag in the passenger seat, and afterwards, making sure to lock the car doors when you leave the vehicle. All right, we are continuing to track a fire burning in Grant County. The Baird Springs fire has been burning since yesterday, and this morning we're learning all evacuation notices have remained in place overnight. Now, this fire has burned about 24 acres. It is just west of Quincy near the Crescent Bar Resort. Take a look at your screen here. Level 3 evacuations are in place for Crescent Bar. That's the area circled in red. As of midnight, Highway 28 has reopened in both directions. Now, this video from One Source News shows the fire early yesterday evening near Road T and Road U. A Red Cross emergency shelter is up and running at Quincy Middle School right now. This is a developing story, of course, and we'll continue to update you throughout the morning. And new details from the Breaking Now desk on the NATO summit starting in Lithuania today. A major development this morning, Turkey is withdrawing its long-held objections to Sweden joining the alliance. Now this is new footage of President Joe Biden arriving for a meeting with Turkey's president earlier today, following the news that Sweden is set to become NATO's 32nd member nation. This comes as President Biden and the leaders of NATO ally nations take up a critical agenda today, including Ukraine's ongoing war and potential NATO membership. Here you can see pre Turkey's president and Sweden's prime minister shaking hands following the decision to drop Turkey's opposition to Sweden joining NATO. President Biden has also been vocal about his desire to see Sweden join NATO as soon as possible in a phone call with Turkey's president prior to the start of the summit. At this summit, Ukraine's nearly two-year-long war with Russia is top of mind. Though the Western allies remain committed to backing Ukraine, President Biden says granting Ukraine membership now is a risk. If the war is going on, then we're all in the war. 
you know, we're at war with Russia. But in a sign of unity, Biden and Ukraine's president are now set for a meeting tomorrow. And after the NATO summit wraps up tomorrow, President Biden is set to deliver a speech before making several stops in Europe, including to newly admitted NATO ally Finland. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. What you were just hearing were Spokane officers deploying a stun gun and taking the man responsible for an almost eight hour standoff into custody. This started around seven yesterday morning just outside of the Department of Social and Health Services in West Spokane at the intersection of North Ash Street and Sharp Avenue. It closed down nearby roads for a majority of the day. According to police, 41 year old Charleston Harper was reportedly trespassing on DSHS property. When officers arrived, Harper pulled out a knife and threatened them with it, eventually barricading himself near the dumpsters. Police say he is a convicted felon with an outstanding warrant for failing to register as a sex offender. According to SPD, the large and long response on their part was necessary to try and resolve things in a peaceful way and bringing him into custody safely. All the resources that we need to bring in to use less lethal force if we have to, to get this person uh, under, uh, into custody and to bring this to a peaceful resolution. Harper's been charged with second degree assault along with other charges. Spokane already has 12 red light cameras and a handful of speed cameras around the city. And the city council is considering adding even more near schools and parks. Another potential location is in the hospital district near Multicare. One woman says she constantly sees cars flying down the hill. I hate for somebody to get hurt right here. You know, it's because of the distractive driver or, you know, somebody that's not paying, you know, that's just kind of focused on what they're doing and not not uh, what's going on here at the hospital. Now, if approved, anyone caught speeding by these cameras will get a ticket in the mail. Council President Brian Begg says the goal is to have most of them up before September of next year. And here is a reminder about a construction project you need to know about beginning tomorrow on Highway 95. There will be lane closures as crews work to seal coat 37 miles of road beginning in Worley. That project should take about a month. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 6.07. Mark is back, and we're talking about that weekend already, as just, it's hot. I know today's Tuesday. Yeah, really, you're just, <laughs> just, just bypassing. Let's just week. take a look. <laughs> Um, mid 90s. We want everyone to get yeah. ready for that, and we're going to build that heat up heading towards the weekend. So, and it's going to be hot and dry. We're going to have more on your full forecast. That's coming up. Your morning. That's looking pretty nice right now. And we're just two days away from the area's premier foodie event. Coming up here, everything that you can expect at Crave Northwest. And UPS workers have voted to strike if they can't reach a contract agreement by the end of this month. We'll look at how that could affect you and your deliveries after this break. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. At Coeur d'Alene Wigs, we have that great hair day every day. Wigs are a great way to look and feel good in a matter of minutes. With over 60 years experience, we will help you find a wig that matches your personality and gives you confidence. Coeur d'Alene Wigs, where it's a great hair day every day. Hi, I'm Randy, owner of Ruder 911 Sewer and Drain. Sewer and Drain cleaning at half the price of the larger competitors. 24-7 service for all of your sewer and drain cleaning needs in Spokane, 535-3136. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. It's coming this August. The Epson Tour, Road to the LPGA, presented by Circling Raven Golf Club and 4 News Now. Circling Raven Golf Club has once again been chosen to host this women's professional golf tournament August 21st through the 27th. More than 150 pros from over 30 countries will compete for shares of the $200,000 purse. Come see the game's rising stars. The Epson Tour, Road to the LPGA, presented by Circling Raven Golf Club and 4 News Now. Coming this August. We'll see you there. Ironstone Furniture and Fire's Made in America sale is returning July 2nd through the 14th. 
American-made brands like Bassett, Paul Robert, and more are on sale now. Visit our showroom for high-quality products crafted with American pride. Ironstone Furniture and Fire in Coeur d'Alene. Washington's biggest outdoor car show, the Great Northwest Gathering. Over 800 vehicles all weekend long, July 21st, 22nd, 23rd at the Spokane Fairgrounds. More information is available on Facebook and greatnwgathering.com. At Coeur d'Alene Wigs, we have that great hair day every day. Toupees and wigs are a fast and easy option for men experiencing thinning or baldness. Jennifer and Sandy will help you with personalized styling to achieve your desired look. Coeur d'Alene Wigs, where it's a great hair day every day. Beat the heat. Always water before 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. All right, welcome back. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Six people, including a pilot, were killed in a helicopter crash near Mount Everest in Nepal today. Five tourists, all Mexican nationals, and a Nepalese pilot were on board when the helicopter was last seen. It was returning to the capital Kathmandu from a sightseeing trip to the world's highest peak. Weather conditions had caused the helicopter's planned flight route to be changed. Five bodies have been recovered. Rescuers are searching for a sixth. A day after Sweden was given the green light to join NATO, Washington, D.C. is moving ahead with the transfer of F-16 fighter jets to Turkey. Turkey had been a main stumbling block on Sweden's path toward the alliance. Turkey requested to buy $20 billion worth of fighters and warplane upgrades in October of 2021. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says President Biden has been clear that he supports the transfer with no caveats. But some diplomats believe the Turkish president had been using Swedish membership in NATO to pressure D.C. on the warplanes. The possibility of a UPS strike looms as negotiations between the shipping giant and the Teamsters Union have reached a critical standstill. With an August 1st deadline approaching, a strike could have major impacts on average Americans and businesses nationwide. UPS delivered about 21 million packages a day across the country last year and moves about 6% of the United States gross domestic product. All right, 10-second takeaway, Tuesday morning, boom, back to sunshine, dry conditions, of course. You're going to want to hydrate. You're going to want to build all that uh, moisture inside your body because it's going to get hot. Grab your shades, 85 the high today. Sorry to inform you, but there are no sudden multimillionaires after last night's Powerball drawing, the ninth largest ever. So now the grand prize will be carried over to tomorrow night and the pot will grow to roughly $725 million. For those who can't wait for a chance to strike it rich, though, Mega Millions has its own drawing tonight for a mere $480 million. Wah, wah. <laughs> like we always talk about, you know, the astronomical odds of winning one. What if you bought tickets for both Ooh. and won both? It would wow. Never, no, it would never ever happen. Mind blown. <laughs> Good morning, Northwest. Time is now 6.13. You should try it. Uh, from a burger smackdown to foods from around the world, we are just two days away from the Inland Northwest premier foodie event. Bronte Sarotsky is live with a sample of what you can expect on the other side of this break. For News Now. Is brought to you by Move Fitness. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Since 1982, it's been our family's commitment to delight wine lovers with affordable Washington State award-winning wines. Our father-daughter winemaking team deliver a unique experience with every bottle. Cheers. Cheers. Are you or someone you know blind or legally blind? Want to socialize in a completely safe environment? Introducing Day Out for the Blind Spokane, a nonprofit organization run entirely by volunteers and its blind members. Join Day Out for the Blind today and become a part of a community that offers free activities and occasional outings. All services are free to members. Don't wait. Join us now. Visit us on Friday or call to learn more. Day Out for the Blind Spokane. Hey, Donnie, can you give me one reason to call the advocates? Sorry, Ken, I can't. I can. I mean, who fights like we do? You can't give me one reason? Nope. How about that we take on big insurance bullies? We're not afraid of any case. We're passionate and smart. Really? You can't come up with one reason? I can't come up with one, Ken. Because there are 500 million. All the money we've recovered for our clients. Injured? You deserve justice. You deserve an advocate.
For over 10 years, I've watched the Grand Spokane tradition grow and evolve. I'm Artistic Director Zool Bailey of Northwest Bachfest. Join me in Manitou Park for a magical evening of music with the Grammy Award-winning Ataka String Quartet and the stunning crossover string trio, Simply Three. Create musical memories for the whole family, Tuesday and Wednesday, July 18 and 19 at 7 p.m. Tickets at nwbachfest.com. Are you ready to unleash the power of productivity? Get ready for the ultimate workhorse, the Kubota BX Series tractors at Adams Tractor. With a powerful engine, versatile attachments, and compact size, these tractors can tackle any job with ease. For a limited time, Adams Tractor is offering a special deal, zero down, 0% 0 APR financing for up to 60 months. Don't miss out on this amazing offer. Visit Adams Tractor today and unleash the power of the Kubota BX Series tractors. We have loads of tractors in stock. Get yours now. Join us in celebrating 41 years of Lataw Creek Winery. Don't miss your chance to taste Elena's fabulous food, sip Mike and Natalie's double gold winning reserve red blend, and save with our special anniversary discounts. Cheers. Cheers. It's now 616. Hey, the area's biggest culinary event is back. Crave Northwest will return to Center Place Regional Event Center in Spokane Valley this weekend. You can try food and drinks from multiple chefs, wineries, breweries, and more each night. Our Bronte Swarovski is live at Baba in Kendall Yards with a taste of what you can expect at Crave this weekend. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want to just try all these new dishes, especially from all our amazing restaurants around the Inland Northwest. We have Aaron Fish here with us again. Uh, we've been talking about all the different themes that this three-day event has, and the last theme, I'll have to talk about that because this is for the, the finale night. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, so that? fire and smoke. Um, so the idea is, you know, we're some some stuff be get, some stuff will be getting cooked over a live fire. Mm -hmm. um, like Tavolata is going to be there roasting a whole pig, um, and some people will just be imparting smoke into some other dishes. So it's just kind of like a real fun experience. Um, grilled, lots of barbecue, um, just kind of a little bit different. Yeah. So. yeah, it seems like a very immersive way to experience food. I didn't know about the the, the pig that you just said. That seems yeah. so cool. Well, I mean, it's an opportunity for the chefs in our area to do something really fun and explore and, like, create something new and, you know, showcase their talent to the community. Yeah, and this, the we're talking about the very last night. So in addition to that theme, there's also going to be a bit of an after, after party, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, so that Saturday night, last night of the event, we're having an after party, and if you buy a ticket, you get to come free. Um, there's a no-host bar, so you got to buy your own drinks, but... <laughs> Um, there'll be some snacks, I think some cookies and brownies maybe, and uh, maybe some maybe some chips, who knows, if, if we get a little wild. But uh, you get to hang out with all the chefs and, you know, everybody at the event and just have a good time. Maybe you didn't get an opportunity to talk to that chef that you really love their restaurant or um, whatever, and you want to hang out, and that's a great time to do it. That sounds awesome. Like, you're just getting, it's like, you know, community. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to actually meet your local chefs, talk to them as you enjoy their food. Yeah. That's yeah, 100%. That is awesome. Well, so as we've been talking about, this event will kick off on Thursday. It's a 21 and up event. It will take place through this Saturday, and your tickets are all inclusive, so you'll be able to eat and drink what you want for that night. Uh, thank you so much for being here with us yeah. this morning. Coming up, we'll just have a final recap of what you can expect if you want to head out to Crave Northwest this weekend. But for now, it'll I'll throw it back to you guys in the studio. I'm so hungry right now. Mm, you're and you're going to Crave. I'm going yeah. Thursday night for the Burger Smackdown. Oh, that should be super fun. I think he should make us something this morning that's a Burger <laughs> Smackdown. I was hoping so, too, especially because he was talking about the mushrooms. Yeah. And, and the, katsu uh, burger. So, yeah, is it like breaded? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. All right, what do we got here? What are we looking at off the coast? I don't think anyone is really concerned with the weather now. <laughs> we just want to come up with a hamburger for breakfast. Um... High pressure is dominating our scene, but we have influences from Canada, okay? So we've got a low that's really off the coast into the Gulf of Alaska. We have another low. This is the one that's leaving right now. It's a slow train, but it's leaving, and so we still have some showers hanging out in Deer Park. That high pressure is going to hang out. So today, while we have clouds this morning, it'll be sunny midday, the afternoon, 85 for the high today, tonight. 
fairly clear, 57 degrees, things look great. All right, but now we look at what we can expect. You can see that low leaving, exiting. It's all the way over here, but it's dragging behind it, slowly trying to leave. It really likes the Pacific Northwest. Who can blame it? But we're going to get a nice break. We're going to see things good. Now this is the leading edge of that next front. While it will go north too and wrap around us, we're going to see, again, just a few scattered showers, mainly into the mountains. So we look at the seven-day forecast, or the four-day forecast, and we're going to take you through dinner time to dinner time. So for dinner time, it's going to be high and dry, beautiful. Some clouds, maybe a few isolated mountain showers. That's coming in from that low that's sitting in the Gulf of Alaska. It moves across early Thursday morning. Northeastern Washington, North Idaho, a couple scattered showers. Dinner time, Thursday, high and dry. We go through the process of seeing a little bit of cloud cover, but that's it. Friday, dinner time, high and dry. Beautiful. That is the setup for the weekend as well. So 85 for the high today for us up into Colville 84. Look for 90s, not extremely hot, but it will get much hotter on the east slopes of the Cascades. Extremely dry conditions here. And again, we talked about Lake Roosevelt having a complete burn ban because of the fact they've only gotten about 5% of what they normally get in 30 days when it comes to rain. Bone dry. A, uh, 90 for Grand Coulee and they're only going to get hotter as we all are. We're going to see sunshine Wednesday, Thursday. It's going to be in the upper 80s. Then Friday 90. Your weekend this is why we're telling you to hydrate now and get ready for that. It's going to be in the mid-90s. Monday, still 93 degrees. Could cool a bit for the middle of next week, but we really want you to be ready for this heat. Yeah, again, it's a lot like last week. We mm -hmm. built in, and boy, the weekend was hot. No, no doubt about kidding. it. We're going to see that repeat again. So I'm just back from... LA and it was weird being down in Southern California and it being like 15 to 20 degrees hotter here That's than not right. down there. Well then let's book travel <laughs> and <laughs> to cool off. Weird. It's now 621. A Major League Baseball's All-Star Game will take place tonight in Seattle. But yesterday Mariner star Julio Rodriguez put on quite a show in the opening round of the Home Run Derby. We'll take you back to T-Mobile Park after the break in sports. Thanks for waking up with Good Morning Northwest here on your Tuesday morning. We'll be right back. Download the 4 News Now app today. Regular visits to your local Perfection Tire can ensure your car's safety and dependability. With factory recommended maintenance, you increase your fuel efficiency as well as maintain your vehicle's value. Nobody beats perfection. 4 News Now anchor team, not just in the newsroom, but in the community. We're doing the work, listening to you, asking questions, and getting the answers you need to help keep your family safe. It's what we mean when we say, expect more on 4 News Now. The festival at Sandpoint is back for its 40th annual Summer Series. Celebrate with live music on the lake and under the stars. This year's headliners include Britt Floyd, Gary Clark Jr., Train with Better Than Ezra, The String Cheese Incident, Michael Fronte and Spearhead with Soja, REO Speedwagon with Charlie Farron, Ashley McBride, and the grand finale, The Princess Bride in Concert. Tickets are selling fast. Visit festivalatsandpoint.com to get your tickets today. This is the best life. I feel so spoiled. More fun? More treats? Yes, please. Things are so awesome since my family got a rewards earning Kasasa checking account from Canopy Credit Union. Earning 4.07% annual percentage yield on up to 25K means we get up to $84 deposited right into our account every month. All of this from a checking account? Amazing! That's over $1,000 a year in rewards. And you know what that means. More toys, more playtime, more fun. Woohoo! Thanks, Canopy Credit Union. Canopy is putting treats back in the budget. Learn more at canopycu.com. Limits and conditions apply. Save now with Bymart's latest membership savings book, arriving in members' mailboxes this week. You'll find 16 pages of great storewide savings, including everything you need for your summer activities. At Bymart, our members save more every day. It's a good day for a drive. Great day for a deal. Right now, Cooper Tire is offering up to $75 off four qualifying Cooper Tires. Plus, Perfection Tire will match that rebate for up to $150 off. 
Nobody beats perfection. After months of waiting, the Major League Baseball All-Star festivities finally kicked off Monday night in Seattle as the Emerald City hosts the Midsummer Classic for the second time ever. And the star attraction of the week, no, it's not the All-Star game itself, but the home run derby as Seattle's Julio Rodriguez was going for his first title. And you better believe Rodriguez was not going to let down the Seattle faithful as he gets, get this, a 41 home run first round. That is a record. I'm just going to say it now. He's better than Junior at this event. Sorry. Sorry, guys, that's just the truth. He cruises into the second round to face Vlad Guerrero Jr. And unfortunately for the M's young superstar, he just ran out of some gas there, falling just short of another finals appearance. For the eventual champion, Guerrero Jr., he joins his dad as champions of the home run derby. Guerrero Sr. won the event way back in 2001. And I'm not trying to age anyone here, but I'm old enough to remember that. Now, the Mariners will be much more represented in the All-Star game itself. Luis Castillo is going to be getting the nod for the American league and he'll be joined by fellow starter George Kirby and of course Julio the skipper Scott Service will be also the manager for the AL reporting in studio I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports come on American League yeah Let's do it and Julio's going to win a home run derby one of these days all right good morning Northwest time is now 626 as we go to a commercial break here's your first look at what's ahead on Good Morning America starting at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, an ABC News broadcast exclusive. Is there any message you have for the Russian authorities? Journalism is not a crime. We want our son back. Yes. It's been over a hundred days since Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich was detained by the Russian government, accused of espionage, and held in a Moscow prison. We need to have all the strength to survive this time until he gets back. This morning, his parents are speaking out to George Stephanopoulos. How did you learn the news that he'd been arrested? Well, we got a call from the Wall Street Journal that he didn't report back on time. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll hear more from Evan Gershkovich's parents and their important message for the world about their son. With your GMA First Look, I'm Rihanna Nally, ABC News, New York. With wet AMD, sometimes I worry my world is getting smaller because of my sight. But now, I can open up my world with Vibismo. Vibismo is the first FDA-approved treatment for people with wet AMD that improves vision and delivers a chance for up to four months between treatments, which means doing more of what I love. Vibismo is the only treatment designed to block two causes of wet AMD. Vibismo is an eye injection. Don't take it if you have an infection or active swelling in or around your eye, or are allergic to it or any of its ingredients. Treatments like Vibismo can cause eye infection or retinal detachment. Vibismo may cause a temporary increase in eye pressure after receiving the injection. Although in common, there is a potential risk of heart attack or stroke associated with blood clots. Open up your world. A chance for up to four months between treatments with Vibismo. Ask your doctor. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Saving you green. Did you know that Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know. Ever wondered why you didn't receive an alert during a nearby emergency? To be contacted about a situation near your home or workplace and to receive automatic notifications, register at alertspokane.org. Alert Spokane issues all emergency notifications in Spokane County. Messages are sent via landline, cell, and voice over internet phones via text, TDD, and email. Learn more and register at alertspokane.org. Language options available. Don't be caught off guard. Stay alert. Stay safe, Spokane County. There's work in you. And then there's chill you. Chill you is more carefree and curious, more present, more relaxed, more fun. 
chill you is the best you. There you are. Bring back your chill you with an escape to Coeur d'Alene, the city by the lake. Find countless ways to play and stay in CDA at visitcda.org. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. The 4 News Now story tracker with the stories people are reading about online this morning. Ricky Cole became the first openly trans pageant contestant to win the title of Miss Netherlands on Sunday, or excuse me, Saturday. And she will go on to represent her country in Miss Universe later this year. If Cole wins Miss Universe, she'll be the first trans woman to wear its tiara. The pageant has allowed trans participants since 2012. And a lot of us are giving some new threads a try, the newest competitor to Twitter, Threads, which was launched by Facebook's parent company, Meta, has hit 100 million new accounts in its first five days. Well, good morning, Northwest. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Robin Nan. Thanks for being with us on this Tuesday, July 11th. Mark is here with a calmer forecast for us for this uh, this, what is it, July 11th, you just said? July 11th, 7-Eleven. Isn't it Slurpee Day right yes. there? It is. Big, whoa, stop there, breaking news. Uh, it's going to be a good day for that. Uh, temperatures are going to heat up. Right now, starting off very mild, I-90 busy around Coeur d'Alene and into Spokane, 60 degrees right now. We've got 58 degrees, and again, the promise of some blue sky to the south. It's going to take a while to get here. Here's a look at the four things you need to know. Today's going to be a very average day. going to be very nice, but we start another dry run that's going to keep us without rain. We'll talk about that. Plenty of sunshine this week, but that hot weekend ahead, we want you to be prepared for it. So we look at the Doppler satellite. We are Doppler radar. We still have a few lingering showers to the north now moving into North Idaho, and we're going to see those dragging across the Rathdrum Prairie, and then they're going to continue to make their way out. It's just slowly moving out of here. We had thought it'd be done by three, four o'clock in the morning, but it's decided to hang out. So that's what we've got uh, right now currently. Today, we're going to warm up uh, in Mead. You're going to be at 87, Hayden 83, Post Falls 83, and Sunny. Uh, we're going to be officially 85. Things look really good. We look at what we can expect now for our day. We're going to, again, get rid of this cloud cover. By 8 o'clock, we should be around 62 degrees, 70s throughout mid-morning, all the way into the lunchtime. And then this afternoon, we're back into the low 80s. Again, that high today, about 4 o'clock at 85 degrees. And at the Breaking Now desk, we're following details out of Georgia this morning where a grand jury is set to be selected that will consider bringing charges against former President Donald Trump for allegedly trying to overturn the 2020 election. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis launched the investigation in early 2021, saying Trump tried to overturn his defeat in the Peach State with a campaign targeting Georgia election officials, the governor, lawmakers, and prosecutors. Willis started the investigation following a phone call between Trump and Georgia's Secretary of State. During that call, Trump suggested the state's top election officials could help him find 11,780 votes. The two-year-long investigation expanded to include an examination of Republican fake electors, phone calls by Trump and others to Georgia officials, and unfounded allegations of widespread election fraud made to state lawmakers. Willis says her team is considering considering a wide array of charges, including solicitation of election fraud, making false statements to state and local government bodies, conspiracy and involvement in election related threats. Final charging decisions are set for some time in August. And an indictment and conviction still would not prevent Trump from running for or winning the presidency in 2024. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Starting this weekend, there will be a lot more fanfare and an efficient way to get around Spokane. The new black and purple electric buses you see around town are part of the City Line fleet. The buses will route between Brown's Edition and Spokane Community College, connecting through downtown and the University District. Our fleet is a completely zero emission battery um, electric buses. So we have 11 in the fleet. Uh, our 60 foot articulated buses can hold up to 90 people and they are completely battery electric. The City Line buses will run every 15 minutes, six days a week, and on Sundays they'll run with 30 minute frequency. All City Line services are free until Labor Day. To find out more about this new bus route, click on this story on KXLY.com. 
After a two-day search, an escaped Montana murder suspect has been caught. 42-year-old Chadwick Shane Mobley was found in Plains, Montana, the same town he was in when he slipped his handcuffs and ankle shackles at a gas station and then ran off. Police emphasized that he was very dangerous and urged people living in that area not to open their doors to cries for help until they could see the person from their house. Mobley was being driven to Michigan to face charges in the 2011 murder of a 20-year-old woman. A Falcon 9 rocket launched 22 Starlink satellites into orbit from Florida's Cape Canaveral Sunday night. The Starlink satellites provide internet and mobile connection from a low Earth orbit. According to the SpaceX website, it was the reusable Falcon 9 booster rocket's 16th successful launch. The Falcon 9 rockets land upright on a barge off Florida after launch to be reused in future launches. If you're planning to go to Lake Roosevelt this weekend, there are some fire restrictions you need to know about. Starting on Friday, all open fires are banned due to the extreme conditions. That includes fire pits, charcoal fires, and propane campfires. During this fire ban, the only things that are allowed are self-contained propane or gas stoves and lanterns. For more on these restrictions, you can look for this story on our website at kxly.com. All right, good morning, Northwest time is just about 6.36 now. It has been so dry, and we really haven't had relief, even yesterday. No, no and green is good when it comes to this particular graphic. Not a lot and of green. Missoula, yes, they've had 125% of normal, wow. but we're at 23% Grand Coulee, Lake Roosevelt. Four to six percent of normal. Oh, desperately dry. So please use caution when you're outside. Uh, all it takes is a spark. We're going to talk more about your forecast coming up. For news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For BECU credit union members, freedom means free checking with no monthly maintenance fees and no minimum balance requirement. And it means access to your money whenever, wherever, with over 30,000 surcharge free co op network ATMs nationwide. So join us at BECU. This could be you. Just chillin', staying cool this summer. Join us for jackpots, food, and fun at Mystiqua Casino Hotel. Play your favorite games to earn your entries to win a share of $13,000 cool cash. Paddle boards, kayaks, and air conditioners. Mystiqua Casino Hotel, keep it cool. Drawings start at 5 p.m. Saturday, July 29th. Learn more at mysticquad.com. It's time to make memories that will last for generations. Wendell Ford has perfect rides for your summer adventures. Need a rugged companion for that camping trip? We've got the Explorer. Taking the boat out to the lake, our F-150s are ready for the job. Planning a trip to the mountains? The Bronco Sport is perfect. But hurry, while memories will last forever, these deals will be gone soon. Visit Wendell Ford at the Y on North Division and drive for generations. What's good about River Ridge Hardware and how we stand out as a neighborhood hardware store, when a customer comes in, it's our opportunity to help them with whatever project they're doing, whether it's painting or building something new. We truly want to help you. What makes Peter's Hardware Store stand out in the neighborhood is it is eclectic type hardware store since 1934 and yes we're the oldest working hardware store in Spokane it's really a fun place to visit what's in a name a question that has never had more relevance first American title has been rebranded to flying s title and escrow since 1905 we've been helping people protect their property rights when the time comes to choose a title insurance and escrow company the choice is clear Flying S Title and Escrow. Idaho's longest operating, family owned Title and Escrow company is now Flying S Title and Escrow. We're not new, but our name is. When I think of a mortgage advisor, I think of someone who is not approachable or friendly. But then we went to BECU and I met Lauren. She was like, this is how you buy a home. BECU changed my life and my family's life. All right, welcome back. A six-year-old from Florida stood tall and protected herself when police say a man tried to kidnap her. Yeah, a six-year-old lyric says a man approached her and grabbed her. And then what'd you do? Grab yeah, him. And then what? Then he slapped me and threw me on the floor. 
Police say the man in this video grabbed Lyric and tried to take her, but she fought back, not only biting the man, who was many times her size, but also getting a good look at him. Police later arrested Leonardo Venegas with black hair, a cross earring, and a white shirt, just as Lyric described to them. Lyric credited her mom with teaching her a timeless lesson. And what does your mom say about strangers? Don't talk to strangers. I told her, don't talk to strangers, and if anything happens, just try to pick up something that's close to her and just hit them with it. Police commended Lyric for her intelligence and bravery. All right, 6.40, it is a Tuesday, and our 10-second takeaway, we're getting back to sunshine today after yesterday's thunder bumpers. It's going to be dry today, so hydrate, grab your sunglasses, you'll need them. Today's high, 85 degrees. If you're looking for a way to keep your kids engaged and learning this summer, it might be time for family game night. Yeah, a study published in the journal Early Years looked at the impact of 25 different games on learning. It measured things like arithmetic, speed, and accuracy, and it found more than 30% of the board games tested give kids a significant boost in mathematical ability compared with those who did not play. The studies included games like Monopoly, Dominoes, and Shoots and Ladders. The games were introduced for an average of 20 minutes per day, twice a week for a month and a half. The question is, does Monopoly have the same effect? Mm. We don't know. A Vermont couple's pleasure cruise did not go as planned after they discovered a pair of rascally raccoons stowed away on their boat. Steve and Shannon Lipkin uncovered the pair while in the middle of Lake Champlain. So they had no choice but to hang with the hairy hitchhikers. They managed to keep <laughs> a safe distance and once back on land, the stowaways jumped ship. But the couple says overall, their surprise companions seem to enjoy the ride. And that sounds like nobody was attacked, so and that's, that's good. good Amazon Prime Day starts today. Prime members will have 48 hours of exclusive access to millions of deals across categories, including Amazon inclusive items from top brands like Dyson, Theragun, and Frigidaire. Even if you are not a member, Amazon says you can still get the most out of the Prime Day by starting a 30-day free trial. Upcoming blockbusters Barbie and Oppenheimer are hitting theaters on the same day, and some moviegoers are planning on a double bill. AMC Theater says more than 20,000 of its stub members have purchased tickets to see both movies on the same day. The movies, whose storylines couldn't be more different, are being dub, uh, dubbed Barbenheimer. Early data suggests Barbie is expected to outpace Oppenheimer in terms of inaugural ticket sales. If you want your own Barbenheimer experience, the film's open Friday, July 21st. So you got a week and something. Oppenheimer's three hours and Barbie's two. So you're you're blocking out a big chunk of your day if you're doing that. Gosh, that's a commitment. <laughs> and it's a now. lot of popcorn, too. <laughs> Ooh, now I'm really hungry. It's now 642. <laughs> Brother Swarovski live in Kendall Yards this morning. Yeah, in just two days, the area's premier foodie event will kick off. I'll have everything you need to know if you plan on coming out to Crave Northwest. Download the 4 News Now app today. Satay Bistro, Coeur d'Alene's culinary extravaganza of American fusion dining. From our extensive wine cellar to our unforgettably decadent menu, we'll move your experience beyond ordinary to the extraordinary. Satay Bistro, just off the 4th Street exit in Coeur d'Alene. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet is North Idaho's premier flooring shop. They have your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their designers help you find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. If you can dream it, they can floor it at Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. I gotta call Swap. Here you go. Huh. That's it? I'm calling him. You forgot your check. Craig Swap & Associates is on your side. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Music returns to Spokane's iconic Manitou Park. Join this musical celebration for the whole family, Tuesday and Wednesday, July 18th and 19th. Tickets at mwbachfest.com. With more and more people working from home and not being active or moving as much as they used to, it's now more important than ever to break the habit and get back to the gym for a healthier, better you. 
Working out should be a daily routine. And Move Fitness wants to help you create new habits by keeping you motivated with our friendly, award-winning staff. And you can get it all for around a dollar a day. So what are you waiting for? Join the movement. Ooh, someone just got the new DQ cake batter cookie dough blizzard. All that DQ soft serve, cake batter flavor, confetti cookie dough pieces, and signature sprinkles? Dad, you said you'd wait until you got home before digging in. I never said that. Pretty sure you didn't. <laughs> oh, cue the confetti. That's cold. Because the new DQ cake batter cookie dough blizzard won't be here forever. Only at DQ. Happy tastes good. Get it in the app. Sate Bistro, Coeur d'Alene's culinary extravaganza of American fusion dining. From our extensive wine cellar to our unforgettably decadent menu, we'll move your experience beyond ordinary to the extraordinary. Sate Bistro, just off the 4th Street exit in Coeur d'Alene. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mystiqua Hotel and Casino in Chewila. All right, welcome back. If you've been wanting to try any new in the Northwest restaurants, well, this weekend you'll have a chance to try different fruits from about 15 local chefs as Crave Northwest is back at Center Place in the Valley. And your tickets get you more than just food. There's also drinks like uh, from local wineries, breweries, distillers. Bronte Sarotsky is live checking out uh, Baba in Kendall Yards with a taste of what we can expect this weekend. Yeah, this weekend, like you guys mentioned, there will be multiple chefs from all over the Inland Northwest and across the country as well. Here again with Aaron Fish, just talking about everything you can expect at Crave Northwest. Uh, one thing I want to ask, I know you've been doing this for a while now, what has been your favorite part of this whole event? Oh, that's easy. It's uh, hanging out with all my chef friends, really, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, I, that's why I do it. Um, is I want to create this awesome community of local chefs in our area. We all have each other's back. We're all friends. Um, and, you know, it's just help create better food in the area. So that's, yeah. that's like been my personal goal, not necessarily a crave goal, but. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's, it's awesome. It's, it is such a community event. And um, one of the, I know the last night, it's going to be a whole, a whole party, bring yeah. everyone out. People yeah. can meet their favorite chefs if they want to. How important is that to the chef too, to get to meet the people enjoying their food? Well, I think, I think everybody likes a little bit of uh, attaboy, you know? <laughs> so mm -hmm. I think that, you know, and, and it's probably everybody's excited about that. Um, but I mean, really, I think they're just there to, to have a good time and, and make some delicious snacks. So. Yeah. No, it's, it's awesome. And there's three different yeah. uh, themes for all three nights. Yeah. So uh, just quick, br briefly what yeah. the three are. So what you need to know about Crave, right? <clears throat> yeah. So we got three nights, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in that order, Burger Bash. We have uh, foods from around the world on Friday night and fire and smoke on Saturday with an after party on Saturday night for you, all those who buy tickets from uh, starting at 9 p.m. Yeah, and the event is all all your food and drink is involved in your yeah. tickets. So, yeah, come down Thursday, Friday, or Saturday in Spokane Valley. And um, thank you so much for being here with us yes, this you can, morning. You can buy your tickets, too, on CraveNorthwest.com. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah so get your tickets and, um, and just enjoy some local food and drinks. And um, thank you so much again for being here this morning. I'll throw it back to you guys in the studio. Fire and smoke, good mm -hmm. in Crave, not good outside. Yes, excellent right? point. <laughs> Especially excellent. in our dry conditions. Yeah, and as we speak of that, dry conditions, hey, dry today, not so much yesterday. No, yeah, we did have the thunderstorm activity. We did have lightning uh, cause fires yesterday. Of course, everything is fairly con contained right now, and that's good news. But the dry conditions are going to continue, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at where we are getting a little bit of moisture, the remnants mm -hmm. of yesterday. And this is a snapshot, Newport, light showers. Rathdrum just getting done with a shower, and it continues to make its way out of here. Athol's picking up a little bit of light rain, but that's all going to change. Now, we look at what we can expect when it comes to our day today. 85 degrees, going to be mostly sunny, going to be warm, uh, really looking pretty good. We are expecting tonight to be fairly clear, 57 degrees, wind southwest 5 to 10 miles an hour. Again, windows open, getting the cool air in, the heat is coming. I just want to give you a quick snapshot of what's going on around uh, our country today. Oklahoma once again being hit with dangerous thunderstorm activity, flooding rains and tornadic activity. We're seeing much needed rain come into the Dakotas and we're picking up isolated thunderstorms into the Great Lakes. And then it's the heat to the south, the southeast and the southwest. For us, 
We're expecting to see, for the most part, clear skies. Things look pretty good. We're going to continue into Tuesday morning and then into Wednesday or uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday. A little bit of cloud cover for Wednesday, but then it moves out. Again, some variable clouds at times. That's why we're keeping a little bit of cloud cover in that forecast. Today's highs into the mid 80s around our region. We're going to be low 80s north Idaho and along the east slopes of the Cascades. You're going to be dry temperatures around 90. Now we'll get there, but not till Friday. So you're planning forecast plan on heat variable clouds 87 on Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to be in the mid 90s Saturday and Sunday. The heat is on. Please get ready for that. Whew, it's going to be something. Oh, yeah. Mark, yeah, thanks. no doubt about it. It's now 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint is coming up next. Thank you so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest here on your Tuesday morning. We'll be right back. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Rebath Spokane. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Fred Meyer, we invest in local farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or get 4250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Spokane is my hometown. It's where I built my business and raised my two boys. But Spokane has changed and not all for the better. Brighter days can lie ahead if we have a city council that puts results over political agendas. That's why I will take action to address our homelessness crisis, make affordable housing a priority, and support our police and firefighters to keep our neighborhoods safe. I'm Kim Please, running for city council president, and I'm asking for your vote. Thank you. Kootenai Humane Society is now Companions Animal Center. We invite you to our fundraising event at the exclusive Hagedon Gardens at Casco Bay. Enjoy a boat ride there and back, cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. Funds raised will go toward our new center for homeless animals. Do you have property damage? Burke's Restoration provides full-service emergency response for residential and commercial disasters. Wind damage? Burke's can handle that. Is flooding your problem? Burke's Restoration knows just what to do. Fire or smoke damage? Call Burke's today. You didn't plan on a disaster, but you have a choice on who restores it. Choose the best. Burke's Restoration takes care of fire, smoke, wind, or water damage, and more. Tell your insurance company you choose Burke's Restoration. Call or click today. I'm Mark Peterson, the Extreme Team and Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on the next task. If you know of a project that needs an Extreme Team makeover, go to KXOY.com to nominate it. Four News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Fred Meyer, we invest in local farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53 on the dot. Time to get you ready to take on your Tuesday here in the morning sprint. Yeah, Mark Peterson talking about the dry, warm day ahead of us. We're just two days away from in the Northwest premier foodie event. Bronte Saratsky is live with the details on Crave. The Sydney Charles has details on a new development this morning ahead of today's NATO summit meeting. But first, we're continuing to track a fire burning in Grant County. The Baird Springs fire has been burning since yesterday. And this morning, we're learning that all evacuation notices have remained in place overnight. Now, the fire has burned about 2,400 acres west of Quincy near the Crescent Bar Resort. Level 3 evacuations are in place for Crescent Bar. That's the area circled in red here. As of midnight, Highway 28 has reopened in both directions. This is a developing story and we'll continue to update you throughout the morning. Heartbreak in North Idaho. A two-year-old from Rathdrum died in a hot car Sunday. Idaho State Police believe the child was playing in the car. It ended up getting trapped inside. Fire officials say across the country it is the 11th time a child has died due to being trapped or forgotten in a car this year. 
Chris Larson with Northern Lakes Fire says parents should create a reminder to force them to check the back seat, like putting a diaper bag in the passenger seat and afterwards making sure to lock the car doors when you leave the car. After a two-day search, an escaped Montana murder suspect has been caught. 42-year-old Chadwick Shane Mobley was found in Plains, Montana, the same town he was in when he slipped his handcuffs and ankle shackles at a gas station and ran off. Police emphasized he was very dangerous, urging people in that area not to open their doors to cries for help until they could see the person from their house. Mobley was being driven to Michigan to face charges in the 2011 murder of a 20-year-old woman. Good morning, everybody. In our first alert weather conditions right now, temperature wise, are very mild. It's nice. Uh, 58 to downtown, 56 into Deer Park. Uh, we're seeing those uh, low 60s all over the place. Uh, satellite and radar has something to say. We have a few scattered showers still left from yesterday's energy. That's going to move out of the area in the next couple of hours. We're going to see more sunshine and temperatures warming. Our high today will be 85 degrees. That was Spokane police officers deploying a stun gun and taking the man responsible for an almost eight hour standoff into custody. It all started yesterday morning around seven outside the Department of Social and Health Services in West Spokane at the intersection of Ash and Sharp. According to police, 41 year old Charleston Harper was reportedly trespassing on DSHS property. Police say he is a convicted felon with an outstanding warrant for failing to register as a sex offender. According to SPD, the large and long response on their part was necessary to try and resolve things peacefully and bring him into custody safely. Speeding cameras, speeding cameras like this one could be coming to your neighborhood. Spokane already has 12 red light cameras and a handful of speed cameras around the city. The city council is now considering adding even more of them near schools and parks. If approved, anyone caught speeding by these cameras will get a ticket in the mail. Sweden is set to become NATO's 32nd member nation. This is the result of Turkey withdrawing its long-held objections to Sweden joining the alliance. President Joe Biden and the leaders of NATO ally nations take up a critical agenda today, including Ukraine's ongoing war and potential NATO membership. Though the Western allies remain committed to backing Ukraine, President Biden says granting Ukraine membership now is a risk. But in a sign of unity, Biden and Ukraine's president are set to meet tomorrow. Crave Northwest is back starting this Thursday. The premier foodie event will take place through Saturday with a different theme each night. The event will have chefs from all across the Inland Northwest, including even some celebrity guest chefs. Your ticket will include all the food and drinks that you would want, and that will end on this Saturday with an entire celebration to commemorate the event. Around Spokane, the new black and purple electric buses you see around town are part of the City Line fleet. The buses will route between Brown's Edition and Spokane Community College, connecting through downtown and the University District. The City Line buses will run every 15 minutes, six days a week. On Sundays, they'll run with 30 minute frequency. All City Line services are free until Labor Day. If you're planning to go to Lake Roosevelt this weekend, there are some fire restrictions you need to know about. Starting on Friday, all open fires are banned due to extreme fire conditions. That includes fire pits, charcoal fires, and propane campfires. During this fire ban, the only things you're allowed are self-contained propane or gas stoves and lanterns. Weather's next. For News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield. That could earn you up to $500 every year or more. Wildfires can strike at any time. 4 News Now Firewatch coverage keeps you safe on TV and on the go to protect your family. Tracking the largest local wildfire. Stay safe all fire season long on 4 News Now. The long-lasting scent of Game Flames made it smell like Dave was in his happy place. The massage chair at the mall. But he wasn't. Gain Flames with Oxy Boost and Febreze. Hello, I'm Lloyd Herman. 
if you need legal assistance due to an accident or an injury, put my 40 years of experience of dealing with the insurance companies to work for you. You'll have an appointment to speak to me within 48 hours. Lloyd Herman and Associates, 922-6600. All right, let's take a live look out uh, over Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena to the south. There's the sun and the clouds starting to exit. The forecast calls for sunshine. We call for blue sky and we're going to have temperatures warming up to 80 by 2 o'clock. Much of the afternoon starting about 3 or 4 into the mid 80s, taking us all the way through 7 o'clock for this evening. Now we look at what we can expect beyond that hotter weather temperatures into the upper 80s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday 90 and it's the weekend where we have those mid 90s expected sunny and hot chance of northern lights on Thursday night. Ooh, I hope we can see them. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Get ready for that uh, heat to be cranked up. GMA starts right now.